African Zimbabwean innovator and inventor Maxo Chikumbuzo paid a courtesy call showcasing his latest invention of the world's first soft powering vehicles and motorbikes that run just on radio waves. You might think fancy, high tech cars only come from big shots like China, the US, or other rich countries, right? Well, Prepare to be amazed because Zimbabwe's is stealing the spotlight with something totally wild. Maxwell Chikumbutso, a super smart inventor from Zimbabwe, has just blown everyone's minds with his latest creation. He's built an electric car that doesn't need gas or even a charging station. Seriously, no kidding. Maxwell claims this car grabs radio waves from the air turns them into power, and keeps zooming along forever, all without a single puff of pollution. If he's onto something real here, it could totally shake up how we think about cars and energy. And get this, the car isn't just brainy, it's got style too. With its sleek, modern design, it looks like it could roll right up next to a Tesla or BYD and fit in just fine. So. What's the story behind this jaw-dropping invention? How'd Maxwell pull it off? And why are big car companies suddenly sweating? Stick around to find out. So, before we dive deeper, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe for more cool updates like this. Before we get into the details, let's take a look at Maxwell Chikumbutso, the inventor who has captured the world's attention. In a world that often overlooks those who dream big, Maxwell's story is one of grit, ingenuity, and never giving up. Born in Budariro, a seedy, tough part of Harare in 1980, he had to drop out of school at the age of 14 because money was tight. But that didn't stop him. His mind was brimming with ideas, and his curiosity about engineering undid. In the late 90s, Maxwell started tinkering with whatever scrap he could find until, in 2009, he set his sights on green energy and created something pretty big. Microsonic energy technology. Imagine that. A car that never needs charging. Not like a Tesla or your grandfather's gas guzzler. It's a total game changer. Maxwell's car is more than just a ride. It's a walking power station. Heading home from work? Plug it in and boom! It pumps out 15 kilowatts of electricity to light up your home. With a top speed of 220 kilometers per hour, about 137 miles per hour, and unlimited range, this car has no limits. It's not just about cool vehicles. It's Zimbabwe's slogan, Hey world, we have big ideas too. But Maxwell's road hasn't been easy. He's faced some bad times, like when he and his business partner were poisoned in the U.S. in 2017. Tragically, his partner, Dr. Ted, didn't survive. But Maxwell pulled through, thanks to his faith. Despite threats to his life, he continued to push Zimbabwe's leaders to keep the dream alive at home. So, what is this microsonic energy technology? This is a bold leap, capturing radio waves, yes, the invisible signals present all around us, and converting them into electricity. This has fascinated people. Now let's know about it in detail. He says he's created an electric car that powers itself, no gas, no charging stations, just pure genius. Maxwell claims this car grabs radio waves from the air and turns them into energy letting it drive forever without polluting a bit. If he's really pulled this off, it could flip the script on how we power cars and use energy. Plus, the car, called the CFEV, looks super cool with its sleek, modern style that's right up there with today's top rides. This thing can supposedly hit speeds of 220 kilometers per hour. That's about 137 miles per hour and comes packed with fancy features like self-parking and smart driver aids. Maxwell says it runs on something called a microsonic energy device, which pulls energy straight from radio waves. Like magic, but for real. 
it's not just good for the planet. It could save money, too. At around $14,000 to make each one, this car could be affordable for tons of people. Maxwell showed it off to Zimbabwe's president, Emerson Menangagwa, at the State House in Harare, alongside other cool stuff like a self-powered motorbike and a portable generator. The president was all smiles, calling it a shining example of Zimbabwean brain power and saying it's proof they need to support local talent to grow the country. But not everyone's sold. Scientists around the world are scratching their heads, wondering if this can really work. Turning radio waves into enough power to run a car? That's a tough one to swallow, especially with the laws of physics in play. Some folks aren't buying Maxwell Chikumbutso's big claims, and they've got their reasons. Experts say that while it's possible to grab a tiny bit of energy from radio waves for small gadgets, powering a whole electric car with them is a stretch, way beyond what today's tech can handle. Plus, when people started digging into Maxwell's inventions, things got a little fishy. Some of the parts he showed off like a so-called hypersonic device, looked a lot like a regular portable power station you can buy on Amazon. That's got people wondering if he's just slapping new labels on stuff that's already out there instead of inventing something totally new. Even with all the doubts, Maxwell's story is hitting home, especially in African communities. To them, he's a shining example of what's possible a guy who taught himself engineering and now says he's changing the world. It's the kind of tale that fires up dreams of standing on your own and pushing tech forward. The Zimbabwean government's even jumping in, talking about building a factory for his CFEV car, hoping to put their country on the map as a hot spot for cool energy ideas. The media's been all over this too, painting Maxwell as a bold dreamer taking on the big tech giants. Headlines scream that his inventions could make old-school cars a thing of the past. Social media's buzzing with it. People are amazed, hopeful, and, yeah, a little skeptical, too. It's gone viral, with everyone chiming in. As we wait to see what's next, Maxwell's journey shows how tricky it can be for bold new ideas to break through. There's a fine line between cheering on a genius and making sure their stuff actually works. And that's where the real story's at. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's dream of a self-powered car that runs on radio waves sure sounds amazing. Who wouldn't want a ride that never needs fuel or charging? But scientists are pumping the brakes, saying, hold up, we need hard proof. They want solid evidence and studies checked by other experts to back up these wild claims. Whether Maxwell's invention holds up or not, it's definitely got the world talking about what's next for energy and cars. His story's a roller coaster of big dreams, doubts, and that never-ending itch to figure things out. On January 29, 2025, Maxwell rolled up to the State House in Harare and showed off his creations, including this radio wave-powered car to Zimbabwe's President Emerson Menangagwa. State media went wild, calling it a giant leap forward for the country. The president was all in, hyping it up as a game changer that could put Zimbabwe at the front of the pack in cool energy tech. People were buzzing at first, but that excitement didn't last long. Soon the skeptics came knocking. Scientists and sharp-eyed journalists started poking holes in Maxwell's story. One big name, Zimbabwean reporter Hopewell Chinono, did some detective work. He ran a reverse image search on Maxwell's hypersonic energy device, and, surprise, it looked an awful lot like a portable power station you can snag on Amazon for about $109. That raised some eyebrows, and kicked off a deeper look into whether Maxwell's big claims are the real deal or just a fancy repackage of stuff we've already seen. Hopewell Chinyono, a well-known Zimbabwean journalist, called out Maxwell Chikumbuzo, accusing him of tricking the president 
and the whole country. He said Maxwell was passing off a store-bought gadget as his own invention. Then, people started looking closer at Maxwell's car, the CFE V, and noticed it looked a lot like the X3 Pro EV, a vehicle made in China. That sparked rumors that Maxwell might have just shipped it in and slapped his name on it, pretending it was his big breakthrough. These bombshells put a dark cloud over Maxwell's so-called inventions. Soon after, the Zimbabwean government started backpedaling fast. Official social media posts from President Menangagwa and the Ministry of Information, ones that had cheered Maxwell on, vanished. To a lot of folks, that looked like the government admitting something was fishy and trying to dodge the mess. People had all kinds of feelings about it, some still had Maxwell's back, seeing him as a dreamer getting a raw deal from haters. Others felt duped, upset that he might have tried to fool everyone on purpose. It even got people talking about how the government dropped the ball. How did Maxwell get all the way to the president without anyone double-checking his story? Scientists chimed in too, saying Maxwell's idea of running a car on radio waves sounds cool but doesn't add up. They explained that while you can grab tiny bits of energy from the air, it's nowhere near enough to power a whole car. That breaks some basic rules of science, like how energy can't just come from nothing. Without solid proof, most experts are calling it a long shot. In 2018, he faced legal challenges, including charges related to armed robbery. During his bail hearing, he portrayed himself as a successful entrepreneur, pioneering new technologies, a claim that was met with skepticism given the nature of the charges against him. Maxwell Chikumbutso has been making some pretty wild promises over the years, like a green power generator and a drone surveillance system that sounds straight out of a sci-fi movie. But here's the catch. Nobody's been able to double check if they're real, so a lot of people aren't buying it. His story's a big wake-up call about how the media spreads news and why they've got to dig deeper before hyping things up. At first, Zimbabwe's state media was all over Maxwell's inventions, cheering him on like he'd just won the lottery. They didn't ask the tough questions until the rumors of trickery popped up. Then people started calling them out for not doing their homework. It's a lesson for everyone. When someone says they've got a world-changing idea, the media's job is to check the facts, not just clap and cheer. We all need a little healthy doubt until the proof's on the table. This whole mess also shines a light on how people see innovation in Africa. The continent's full of real-deal inventors doing amazing things, but stories like Maxwell's can make folks hesitant to trust the good stuff. It's super important to sort out what's legit from what's just talk. Encouraging real science, open testing, and honesty can make sure the true geniuses get the spotlight they deserve. Maxwell's big reveal of a self-powered electric car started with a bang. Everyone was pumped. But now, it's a roller coaster of doubt and drama. His tale shows why we've got to keep our eyes open ask questions, and double-check everything when it comes to new ideas and news. As this story keeps rolling, it's a loud reminder. Big claims need big proof. Maxwell's latest pitch about a car that runs on radio waves has grabbed everyone's attention and sparked a wildfire of arguments. It's not just a cool idea anymore. It's a puzzle we've got to figure out. What's it mean for Zimbabwe, for science, for the media, and for all of us watching? Time to dig in and see what's really going on. With the world facing big problems like climate change and running out of fossil fuels, everyone's on the hunt for clean, green energy ideas. Maxwell Chikumbutso's wild claims about a self-powered car might not hold up to science yet, but the excitement they stirred up shows just how much people want a game-changing energy fix. 
His story's a nudge to keep pouring money and effort into research, finding real, workable ways to power our future without wrecking the planet. But there's a flip side. Maxwell's tale brings up some tricky ethical stuff. If he's really been fudging the truth, that's a big deal. It's not just about fibbing, it's about messing with people's hopes, playing on national pride, and maybe even chasing personal fame or cash. That kind of thing can do real damage. It might make people stop trusting honest inventors or pull attention and funding away from the real deal research that could actually save the day. Maxwell's story isn't just a wild ride. It's a warning about keeping things real in the race for a better tomorrow. Buto's self-powered car? Do you think it's real? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.